Wake up, I'm ready to go, yeah Feeling so good in control, yeah Think of the places I could be So I give up and watch TV I think I'm going crazy Pacing around my room Tell me that it gets better Being alone, alone together The world is upside down And I'm turning inside out Tell me that it gets better Welcome back to the Life After Disney vlog. In this episode, I will be animating an NFT showing what a typical filming day looks like and building a cat tree for my cats. I always start off the day packaging orders. I typically get orders on the weekend, so to make sure it arrives as soon as possible, I package them first thing Monday morning. This one in particular is my ghost print. I created this piece when I was reading a bunch of books on the occult. A lot of stories from the book inspired my art at the time, and I'm always really happy to see someone purchase prints of my original art. Okay, okay, okay. Hello. Today, clearly, I am overdressed because I have to film today. I feel like I catfish everyone because I don't actually look like this every day. I didn't film it, but I wrote a lot of scripts yesterday. I feel like I shouldn't do that to myself because by the end of the day, I was really, really, really tired and I just didn't want to do any more work. I, I couldn't do anything. I couldn't draw, I couldn't make music. I didn't even really wanna watch movies. I just wanted to stare at the ceiling and let my brain decompress. So maybe I will try to cram less in a single day. But the reason why I did it is because I wanted to be able to film a lot for the rest of this week. It is technically filming week. For those of you who don't know, I film and write big batches of videos at a time. It's allowed me to really hyper focus on one thing I have to get done and then give me time to do other things that take a lot of time to get done as well. So I have my writing and filming weeks and then I have editing and drawing weeks. The thing is we put out so much content every single week. I'm at a point where I'm not even sure if I even want to get ahead because that just requires me to overwork myself until the point of exhaustion and then I don't want to work. I am trying, by the way, to be more personable and to allow my natural personality to come out. And it's a struggle. It's a struggle to look at the camera and pretend that there is someone on the other side of this watching me. So I'm trying to make these YouTube videos more casual. I don't know. Let me know if you like that about these videos or if you prefer it to be more instructional. I need to stop procrastinating and start filming. I don't know how many other content creators watch these vlogs, but who else can relate to pushing all of the junk to the side just to film? I love watching other creators' vlogs and I'm always so impressed by how tidy they are. I, on the other hand, have a tendency to let things get out of hand when I get busy and then go on cleaning sprees every once in a while. It's one of the reasons why I get anxiety before filming or taking photos. By the time I sit down to actually film, I'm already tired and it feels like half the day is already gone. Today I am going to build this new cat tree. The cats have kind of destroyed their cat tree. It is time to replace it. I'm sure they'll be really happy to get basically a new toy. Are you excited? You excited to see what's in here? I think I haven't introduced you to the cats yet. Over here, we have Prince Biscuit. He's really noisy. He likes to talk a lot. You dig in the trash at night. Right, Biscuit? Right. I think Biscuit's five years old now. And he's finally starting to mellow out a little bit. And this is Mom Cat. I know. I know. I'm just get the coffee cat. Oh, kisses. Mom cat is an old lady. Right, mom cat? We found her in my parents' backyard with babies. And we, <laughs> we fostered her babies, nursed them back to health. 
And then we got them all adopted. We didn't want to send Mom Cat to the shelter because she only liked me for a while. She only let me touch her and pick her up. She's a little shy. She doesn't like looking at the camera. I think she's probably 10 years old now. She's starting to get some cataracts in her eyes. She sleeps a lot. It is 6.30 and now I have been procrastinating on this animation but I'm trying to consistently do a little bit of it every single day. Hopefully I can get a good chunk of this done in the next hour or so. I am trying to limit the amount of time I spend on this because when you get to a certain point in your career, you start to hate this thing that you used to be so passionate about. It just becomes work. I am trying to rekindle my love for all things art and creative by doing it in short bursts. Basically, I stop before I hate myself. I don't know if anyone other than working professionals can relate. Here we go. If you didn't see the last episode of the vlog, I started on this animated illustration, and today I will be finishing up the animation part of it. Here I am animating the hair frame by frame, in line with the red guidelines that I animated previously. Then I do a rough animation of the cat demon's blink. In the first pass, the eye kept shrinking, so I had to go in and fix a bunch of things in order for it to meet my personal standards. Since I'm new to this, this whole process took a lot longer than it should've. I animated each object three or four times because I kept making mistakes, especially with the back of the hair. I really struggled with it for some reason. Next time, I'll animate all of the hair together instead. I bought a cream-colored cat tree to match the rest of our the decor. We got a gray one because I thought it looked really nice, but the darker colors kind of make the house look really dirty. It just sheds a lot whenever the cats like scratch on it and stuff, so I think I will go with white or cream from now on. You excited, Biscuit? You excited to see your new toys? You like it, Biscuit? You like it? Look at that. It's so cute. How is anyone supposed to get any work done? Since I'm a little bit impatient, I started working on the colors of the illustration. I needed to see what the final colors looked like before dedicating a few more days on finalizing the animation. When I was still in college, this would all be lumped together in the planning and thumbnailing stage of the process. But again, I tend to be a bit impatient, so I needed to see the drawing and rough animation done first before knowing what the colors were going to be. I recently have been really into feminine ethereal color palettes lately. So I went with a salmon, pink, and teal color scheme. Oh my lord. He likes it. He likes he it. He likes it. I likes it. It matches him. Oh, he loves it. What are you gonna give me treats? Oh, this, this is the best. Oh, shit. Oh, give me that shit. Oh. This is the best. Thank you, Mother Father. <laughs> Thank you, Mother Father. It's not done yet, Biscuit. Biscuit quickly got bored and decided to explore his TV stand cubby while I finished building the cat tree. Once it was done, he wasn't so sure about it all of a sudden. Why are you sitting here? I built you a cat tree. And decided to ignore my hard work and sit on his bench instead. After a good night's rest, I opened up the file to the animation and realized I needed to redraw the hands. Sometimes it pays off to take your time with your art, because you won't notice things that bother you about it till a little while later. 
Her hands were a little too detailed for the style of the illustration, so I spent a few hours redrawing them to look more simplified and elegant. Once that was done, I spent the next few days working on the final line for the animation. I decided to go without the line work for the hair, since I loved how the flat, lineless shape of the hair contrasts with everything else. Next time, I'd probably plan ahead for that and use After Effects instead. It would have saved me days of work. Once all the animation work was done, time to paint up the rest of the illustration. I haven't painted in a while and wanted to see what adding some animation combined with a painterly style would look like. Painting in Clip Studio Paint was quite the learning experience for me. I had no idea how any of the settings worked, so it slowed me down a lot. Compared to Photoshop, it's a lot simpler and in a lot of ways similar to actual painting, but I do miss a lot of the photo editing abilities of Photoshop. Maybe I just need to use it more to really fall in love with the app. In the next vlog, I'll show how I paint this piece to a finish and then composite it into the final animation. Until next time!